It is the worst imaginable outcome for family and friends who have been holding out hope for days. The five men inside the Titan submersible are dead. Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Granda is closely following these breaking developments. And Carlos, what can you tell us? Well, after an intense search that lasted several days, it all ended tragically. They had hoped that they could find this submersible in time, but what they found is the vessel in pieces. The U.S. Coast Guard says it appears it imploded, killing everybody on board. The debris field was found early this morning near the bow of the Titanic. It was discovered by a remotely operated underwater robot. The debris is determined to be from the submersible's external body. The debris is consistent with the catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber. Officials believe it is likely the tragic accident happened early on. The way the debris looked, it appears to be an implosion. Shortly thereafter, we found the a second smaller debris field. Within that debris field, uh, we found the the other end of the pressure hull, the, the aft end bell, um, which was basically the comprised of the totality of that pressure vessel. The company that operates the sub issued a statement saying that those on board are lost. These men were true explorers who shared a distinct spirit of adventure and a deep passion for exploring and protecting the world's oceans. Our hearts are with these five souls and every member of their families during this tragic time. We grieve the loss of life and joy they brought to everyone they knew. Rescuers had rushed ships, planes, and other equipment over the last week to the site of the disappearance. Search and rescue crews faced treacherous weather as they focused on an area where sonar detected banging noises underwater. The search area is twice the size of Connecticut and two and a half miles deep. Now there could be a recovery operation to investigate the wreckage. With those remote vehicles, obviously they are not going to put more human lives in danger. They are unmanned, but they have the ability from the surface, like a Pac-Man, they have cutting tools on them, they have grabbing tools. Now, when asked if they will try to recover the bodies, the Admiral did not give an answer. Meanwhile, acclaimed director James Cameron, who has been part of 33 expeditions to the Titanic site, spoke about this tragic accident, and we will have his reaction at four. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.